Is it working? Okay, it's working. Um, hi YouTube, this is Draven Nightshade. Wanting to do a pagan tag video. It's a video response to, I believe, the name. her name is Invoking the Balance video. I hope I'm saying that name right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to make this because it seems fun to do. So, here goes. Alright, the ten questions for the pagan tag are... My spiritual beliefs. Um, I, I'm, I practice eclectic Wicca. I'm a witch. I like to be considered a witch. Uh, I believe there is a one godhead or one universal being. And that he has two parts... That it has two parts, the goddess and the god. And there are many different deities on the earth that had different representations of or different personalities of the goddess and the god but I don't work with any deities personally um, I used to but they don't call to me anymore and I believe in the threefold law reincarnation the other world and I follow the eight sabbats of Wicca and all that okay um, next my favorite herbs. My favorite herbs, oh, that's tricky because I do work with herb magic a lot. And I have a lot of favorite herbs. But my all time favorite herb would have to be actually. It's not really an herb, it's actually a raisin that's my favorite. It's dragon's blood. I really like to work with dragon's blood, patchouli, and sandalwood. Those are my three favorite herbs or raisins to work with and they smell amazing not when you burn them together they don't smell that good when you burn them together but they smell pretty good and I also love frankincense I'm obsessed with that um, I use dragon's blood because it has a lot of power to it and I use it a lot in enhancing my spells or making them more powerful or when I cast them I use it for protection love all that for frankincense cleansing abilities for patchouli, I use it for prosperity and all that. Um, okay. Uh, okay, my favorite deity, which I really don't... I actually don't have a favorite deity. Like I said earlier, I don't work with deities. I just work with the goddess and the god alone. The mother and father force only. Um, okay. And my favorite YouTuber to watch on YouTube, my favorite YouTubers, uh, I have more than one. Uh, my very first one that I love to watch all the time would have to be Wicca Gem. I love his videos, I love his altar, and everything. Uh, second, I love to watch Moonlit Opal a lot. She's got very good videos. And I also like to watch... Hmm... Right now, I don't know. Those are only my two favorites so far. So, and all that. And the next question. Am I creative? Yes, actually, I am creative. I do make a lot of my own uh, incense mixtures. I make my own drawings. I actually made my very own goddess and god statues. Uh, which I don't feel like grabbing right now. But I showed them in other videos. I made my own statues. I made my own wand and everything. My own pentacle, I made it. I like to make my own things a lot whenever I get the chance to. So yes, I am indeed very... I even make my own oil infusions. I do not like to buy essential oils because they're too strong for me. And they're for me, they're just too high priced. Most of the time, everywhere I go to. Okay, um... My favorite Sabbath or the se or season. Uh, my favorite Sabbath would have to be Beltane. Or Samhain, or Samhain. That's how I think I think that's it. Yeah, uh, Beltane because it's it's in spring, and my favorite season is springtime, and it's in the month. It's close to my birthday, and it's just so full of passion, love, lust, and I just love all of those things. It's dancing, celebration, partying. I just love it. I just. And it's the wedding of the goddess and gods, too. And I just love marriage. I love love. 
my zodiac signs Taurus actually in it's ruled by the planet Venus so I'm ruled a lot by love so I just love Beltane uh, Samhain I love Samhain too because I also love the darker side of nature too and I just love the color black I love spiders and skulls and all that knickknack and black it happens to be one of my favorite colors my major favorite colors so and that and spring is my favorite season because it's the season that I was born in and the temperatures are perfect it's not too hot not too cold it's just amazing <sighs> okay next how do I incorporate my spirituality in daily life um, I incorporate my spirituality in daily life by watching what I say to others uh, be, being careful not to harm others in any way possible. I also try to help others at all times, whether it be giving them advice, um, doing random acts of generosity such as helping random people clean up their yards or helping them pick up stuff they drop or carrying their groceries for them. Um, all that good stuff. And when winter is actually over, I'm going to actually start doing more charities and more um, community service work to help out my community. That's how I uh, help with my put my spirituality in my daily life. Mostly, though, the one thing I do mostly is I give advice to people. So many people come to me for advice, and I feel like a teacher sometimes. I do help others with advice. I have people coming to me for depression issues. They ask me um, how to deal with it and for relationship issues too and I help them the best of my ability. I even sometimes cast spells for people um, or do rituals for them. I give them tarot readings. I just love to help other people the best I can. It makes me feel so happy when I can help others. Okay, um, I'm just a blabbermouth. I like to talk a lot. Uh, next question. Do I eat meat, um, eggs, and dairy products? Yes, I do. I tried going vegetarian several times. More than three, actually. I physically cannot do it. My body, I keep getting sick. I have to eat meat. Uh, I get sick almost every week when I was vegetarian. I was tired all the time. Um, it just was not for me but I, you have to find for me you really have to find a balance between meats and vegetables and fruits you have to find a good nutritional balance and I kind of hold on to my ancestral belief of the Native Americans which Cherokee tribe that if you eat an animal you should say thank you to that animal for it's giving its life to you so you can live and so you can get nutrients from it even plants even if you eat plants you should say thank you to them too for giving their lives for you because actually plants and flowers they all feel pain too not just animals but plants do too so whatever you take something from in nature you have to say thank you or give an offering back that's what I believe in uh, okay all right next question my favorite book uh, I don't really have a favorite book because I like too many books to have a favorite book but if I had to say one of my favorite books would have to be either um, Gothcraft by Raven Digitalis or uh, most likely just Scott Cunningham books in general. I like Scott Cunningham, Silver Raven Wolf, even though I know a lot of people don't like her, I don't really care, I love her. Uh, Silver Raven Wolf, Oberon Zell Ravenheart, ah, so there, Christopher Penzack. There are so many different books, of uh, different authors I like. I can't name all of them. So yeah, that's that. Um, and does my zodiac sign basically match with my personality? Basically, I think that was the question. Uh, resonate with my personality. That's what it was. Um, my sun signs Taurus, moon signs Taurus as well, and my ascendant sign is Aquarius. Uh, my sun sign does resonate me with me. I do act jealous towards others when I, yeah, I'm just jealous a lot. Um, I am down to earth, and it takes me a lot to get pissed off. But when I'm pissed, I'm pissed. I, I get really mad. It takes a lot to get me mad. Um, my ascendant signs Aquarius, and Aquariuses are intellectual 
people very, uh, what do you call it, rebellious, free-minded, and humanitar humanitarian. And yes, I am like that. I am definitely indeed humanitarian. <sighs> humanitarian. I can't even talk today, man. It's, uh, it's like literally almost two in the morning and I'm tired. Um, and it, that strongly resonates with me. It really does. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's the whole video. Hope everyone enjoyed this. And hope I hope more people do this. Because this is actually a fun video. Merry meet. I mean. Merry part and blessed be. Until next time.